Okay, so to start off, um, the the future was uh, uh, had said that um, the current tax system has uh, a lot of loopholes and they should be fixed. Um, alongside that, uh, the buffer would not essentially create enough uh, revenue coming in to offset our uh, deficit. But the buffer rule is not a standalone uh, rule as it is passed on just its own and increasing the effective tax rate to 30%. But the buffer rule will also be combined with many of Obama's um, uh, tax policy, spending policies, and spending cuts, and so on too. Uh, and when combined, uh, this would ensure you know, a greater amount of offset to the deficit. Um, uh, the the tax system is uh, many believe that the tax system is uh, not even moderate, moderate moderately fair, um, and roughly six uh, six and ten say that uh, so much is wrong with the tax system that Congress should completely change it. When the uh, when the essentially the ninety nine percent believe that there's a uh, flaw in the tax system, uh, that's a big push to Congress to essentially uh, change it to represent their constituency. Um, Emily Cohen from the Huffington Post said the buffer rule would apply to individual income tax uh, rates. It would not apply uh, to the tax rates that corporations pay. So it would, go, it would go directly to the incomes of the rich and not to their businesses and affecting their business revenue. Um, another would be uh, was that when saying that businessmen taking uh, credit for creating jobs. Uh, again, referring to my uh, last argument, it's, it's kind of like saying that squirrels are taking credit for evolution. It's not the businessmen that are creating these jobs. It's, as I said, supply and demand and the need for a certain service or product. Uh, even uh, congressmen such as uh, uh, Jim uh Mitt Romney disclosed in January that his tax bill last year came to about 14% of his $21 million income. Uh, roughly the same percentage faced by middle rung uh, taxpayers. And this is from the New York Times. Um, and uh, figures, figures show how few high earning taxpayers actually hire people, again, relating to how uh, the, the rich aren't really the ones creating the jobs, uh, it's the market. Um, data from the Treasury Department, the Treasury Department's Office of Tax Analysis supports the claim uh, that in 2007, uh, of the 20 million tax uh, returns studied, only 237,000 uh, have met the threshold of uh, the tax when it comes to uh, business uh, incomes. Um, again, uh, the, the infrastructure and the budget, uh, more money coming into the government would ensure that the infrastructure is met and uh, the money would get put back into the market and creating uh, new jobs, new highway products, and uh, pro uh, projects that the government has funded and hire uh, a great amount of workforce. That's why uh, it is clear that our tax code is extremely far and unfair when uh, the rich can pay less tax rate than the middle class um, and our current uh, tax code affects the economy in a negative manner in uh, with this uh, flaw in the tax code it's not bringing in what uh, what essentially we can bring in and uh, put forward in uh, decreasing our deficit and of course the implementation of this rule will lead our society in the right direction and any money coming in will help and with further tax reform and uh, uh, combination with the buffer rule uh, it will lead in, it will lead in the right direction and essentially uh, helping our economy and decreasing our deficit thank you Thank <laughs> you.